Say hallelujah. Amen. 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 So um, before we start things today, um, first of all, my name is Gregory Pokodankwa, uh, just to let you guys know. Um, and today is, or today is the final day of our wonderful youth week. Woo! So I might do a little, couple of little things a little bit different, you know what I'm saying? So um, in fact, before we start, I'm not sure if we usually do this, I always come late, so. But pretty much before we start, I want us to just greet each other. I want us to say hi to somebody. Say hi to, I, a lot of us don't cross the, a lot of us have a, unassigned assigned seats. You know what I'm saying? So we, we sit at the same spot every week. So I want us to go, I want us to go and greet somebody. I want you to greet 10 people. I want you to greet 10 different people at least. And I'll be watching you guys. Oh, 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 oh,
God good? Yes, Amen. Amen. Isn't it good to praise God yes. for all the good things that he's done for us, all the great and wonderful things he does in our lives on a day-to-day -day basis? Yes. Man. God's love is so wonderful. Oh, my God. God is so good, man. We thank God. We thank God. Um, but once again, welcome to today's Sunday service. It's not an ordinary week, right? We've, had, we've been having a bunch of programs. A bunch of um, things being led by, by a lot of younger people. Do you guys know what week this is? What week? I say youth week. Youth week. Woo! Youth week, youth week. And today we are going to be leading you guys. We are going to be hosting you guys this week. And today's going to be the last day, unfortunately. But we are still, we're still leaders in Jesus' name, right? <laughs> Oh. 
and then a pay your best sorry when you're mea or tia say. When you're mea, you two miss soon. Now do your soon. The woman brought so soon. You're all bought a pope. No bum when you're mea. Then there are my men who are in crown. And you are more dang. Say, yes, you're back and in bum. You're best sorry no. Say, I'm winning down the pay me no. You're best sorry. Amen. Amen. Maybe read the M sound. One forty six. Even my aunt I'm a child making cat and young. Oh, how Edu and I in Sia. She moved back when I could see it do. Psalm one forty six, verses one to ten. Muni a radi aye. Me cry a radi aye. Me take a see ye. Me ye a radi aye. Me woho ye. Metal drum, mamma, me yam copon. Won't farm a home to a hand for. And now only papa and quite ye be a renin in Musso. Ne home home free cop or sunny corny dot him. Dano arani trima or boy ra. In shranny de yak of yam copon and a boar for hallelujah. De ne need that a radin yam copon so. Or no, no, you're as I say. A po need the woman in or no na or crown or quarried amen. Or put a time out, I would do one and mean. Or my one, I come do one, Edrian. A radi two need we are four. A radi boy and if raffle any. A radi my one, I walk to Sujina. A radi do attend Sunny, hallelujah. A radi cry a whole war. O Jenna, me see any of Kuna for a cheap. Ne a bonnet for quaint dear. Or than it in me. Amen. A radi di in a da. Zia, when Yanko Paul di in a cock, I want to at your son in a so. Muni a Amen. Amen. Psalm 146, 1 to 10. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Put not your trust in princes in a son of man in whom there is no salvation. When his breath departs, he returns to the earth. On that very day, his plans perish. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, who keeps faith forever, who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets the prisoners free, the Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the sojourners. He upholds the widow and the fatherless. But the way of the wicked he brings to ruin. The Lord will reign forever. Your God, O Zion, to all generations. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Shall we please be on our feet? Namo.
God. But before we do, we want to thank God for the whole week. Hallelujah. We thank God for Monday we were here, Tuesday and Wednesday. In fact, God has been great to us. Hallelujah. He has done amazing things in our lives. Amen. Breaking boundaries. Breaking boundaries. Hallelujah. That is our theme for the, the whole week. God is breaking all boundaries and building our lives, all um, new lives again. Hallelujah. All our weaknesses, all obstacles, all things that limit us in the presence of God, God has taken them away. And on Friday, uh, the district had a half night. And we thank God for uh, wonderful works that He did. Hallelujah. For today, um, the district has given us a speaker. One of our members was sent to um, Highsville to preach, and Sister and our sister Petrina spoke in the morning. Na yen sister Petrina so no no morning service. And in our midst, hallelujah. Na I pray we in tamuno. I introduce to you our sister Ruth Ousu from PR. Praise the Lord. And she's going to give us the word of God. Amen. I know na over many of me so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, if you guys call yourself lit, you gotta be lit. You are As I was preparing for this week, he was also preparing me to preach to you guys. And I also want you to be assured that whatever I say here, God dealt with me also. Okay, so let's begin. Pillar of Fire, I have a lot to say in a little bit of time, so get out your Bibles and your notebooks. Now, me will be break, and so me ready to cry. I'm going to say, "Udi, me chie." Okay, so let's begin. Pillar of Fire, I have a lot to say in a little bit of time, so get out your Bibles and your notebooks. Now, me will be break, and so me ready to cry. Udi, me chie. So this theme is basically continuation of Pesachi. Now, sir, but I, I had the idea to a pencil, but I know so. And it's called breaking boundaries, building lives. That was the theme for this whole week for us. Now, now, what you know, now, 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 you put on this, you put on this, you so now, I feel you see, I'm bravo. And I want to identify what is a boundary. Now, you can say a share or a share so cry any day. And it's, it indicates a fixed limit or an extent. So for me, this speaker is my boundary. I cannot get to the lower floor, floor unless this boundary, the speaker, is removed. And I want to prove this to you in Galatians 5, verse 19 to 21. And I'll let Mrs. Olisa be free. Galatians chapter 5, verses 19 to 21. Now, name you that any Otane, Akayo, Ahoya, Ebufo, Aperi Aperi. Consum consum, by per moon, ni time, on sabro, agobone, ni de etetesa. Ye no moon am a rebomo coco. Said ye a mebomo coco caneno. Say one hour, yes, I knew me ye. 
Amen. I want to go over these boundaries that were listed here a little bit more slowly. Yeah, so don't limit your vocabulary of a boundary to a line or a border. These boundaries that my mother just talked about, can, these, this words of, or adjectives that my mother talked about can also be boundaries.
Mumma Honya Dane, a Radin in a whole day to me. Monsha Yanko Park could be any nine. I want to me at Janet of one son led there at the essay. If we say, and yea, any more Jan Honamna and ya, name Mum Yanim Penny, need to me, dear, need we are seeing so much at home for, near our home or near one stroke or no, to move to me and say, Yea, see, Monsha Yanko Park could be any nine. I want to meet Jenna at the Bonino. Now, more you mean in every hour, more Jenna Hall. Ain't the moon in a hall, more fun of quarry mama as sunny. Now, more shatter and ink at a war. Now, more fat as some jazz and panel out that's what you shall not lie. Nin in edge, you know, more cried the dear chin. I would be to me at doom of Bonino by my reader in Unina. Now, more fat cried the other dear chin. No more moon cried any Bonyanko for us. I'm all fan pie, bonny string, and I'm on pie da. Hm, na and no arrant simonia. Now, more to us, so I ran stream out to put in. Amen. But you're able to understand it a little bit better. No, for so, King can free a trocon chrono, dear, your friendly message by one of Sa or King can free why, and no, no, it does only be the fame I see. So I begin, and that about wraps it up. God is strong, and He wants you strong. So take everything the master has set out for you, well-made weapons of the best materials, and put them to use. So you will be able to stand up to everything the devil throws your way. This is no afternoon athletic contest that we'll walk away from and forget about in a couple of hours. This is for keeps, a life or death fight to the finish against the devil and all his angels. Be prepared. You're up against far more than you can handle on your own. Take all the help you can get, every weapon God has issued, so that when it is all over with the shouting, you will still be on your feet. And then um, Paul goes on to list them. It says, truth, righteousness, peace, faith, and salvation are more than words. Learn how to apply them. You will need them throughout your life. God's word is an indispensable weapon. In the same way, prayer is essential to this in this ongoing warfare. Pray hard and long. Pray for your brothers and sisters. Keep your eyes open. Keep each other's spirits up so that no one falls behind or drops behind. Amen. Amen. So I associate truth with the tongue. Because James 3 says, for life and death is in the power of the tongue. Now James 3, as I say, Yes, yeah, so the truth of knowing that, okay, yes, my family may be in a generational curse of idolatry, but as for me and my family, we will stand, we will be with the Lord. We, I will be faithful to my wife. I know that poverty is written all over my doorstep, and I don't know how I'm going to pay my bills, but as for me and my household, 2020, I will be debt free. So no, I mean, you said. No part no chorus have me bush yamuno or word of mine, never mumu and I was say our rear, never so media minima bush ya dear, ye best so many, and bet me up a say no chorus a fiano a ye and a young qua and a wolf you ho. Now so me minima bush ya dear, yen de o yan a brin ya ye. So Monday, Tuesdays, Wednesday. You and God, you you and God, you're on right terms. So if you see your acquaintance or you see that coworker or even um, the boss who's playing the devil's advocate, you can be like, okay, it's I'm I'm good, cause me and God we good. Yes. 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 The third one is peace, the peace that passes all understanding. I've been in the word of God enough to know that the storms of doubt, the storms of failure, the storms of feeling insignificant, you are you and God, you have peace in your heart. The fourth is the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. In which you read consistently. Not WhatsApp scriptures, not Facebook scriptures, not YouTube sermons, not Bible com commentaries, but the Word of God. 
And yet, Yamia Sama, a WhatsApp, ni Facebook, any YouTube. Nemo Yamia Sama, a Kura Wankasa, Wafa Bible, a King Kang. Because the less word you have in you, the more the devil preys on you. And if you don't have the knowledge of the word of God, you will fail. Say Yamia Sama and two Mubibria, a wonderful one to me at you. So when he whispers to you what you are not, you can come, you can combat it with the word of God and say, Yes. You are my supplier, oh God. Yes, I don't know how I will make it, but you are my supplier. You will help me get through it. May ang like maybe anger when you're walking by, you see that person you really don't like, you walk by just under unforgiveness comes to you, say Satan, it tells in your word that I can pray for my enemy and I pray for this young lady that we will have peace. Peace. I will be, the hurt of my wife or my husband cheating on me, I don't know how, I don't know why, but God, you are faithful. The fifth is the shield of the number five is the shield of faith. faith. The enemy will try to throw darts your way, but you have the shield to protect you. Yes, faith, just as small as a mustard seed. You don't have to have big faith. Just the littlest of faith will get you a long way. I may have a boundary of a fear of failure that I'm scared of my business. I'm scared to start that business because I don't even know if it go well, but I have faith, Lord. I don't know if I will get into that school that I applied for. I don't know if I should go back to school because I don't want people to think I'm old. But I want to do it for not only for me, but for my family, and therefore I have faith. I live in an apartment and I can't afford a house right now. But God, I have faith just as small as a mustard seed to know that you will supply every need of me. Number six is salvation, the helmet of salvation. So when coming up with salvation, um, the Lord gave me a revelation I would like to share with you. So as Christians, we were saved, not, not only saved, but we were saved from the bondage of sin. And then we were baptized, we were dead with our sins, and then we came back alive with Christ. We were also a new creation. The old was gone and the new came. Yeah, yeah. But the problem is Satan constantly likes to bring the dead alive. Because mind you, when God was on the cross, he said it is finished. So the sin, everything was dead. But the sins and the bondage that you're in and that me and you are in are dead. But he likes to make them like zombies. They, he likes to make them alive to you. That's why it's very important for us to have the helmet of salvation. Always constantly reminding ourselves that, okay, God, I know I'm angry right now. I know this person is just making me so mad. But I remember that is this too shall pass. It will come to a point where it's all be okay. <laughs> so I want to go over the um, strategies again. So number one is truth. 
Na said your di kan kan e no di di kan no e ye no kware. Number 2 is righteousness. Di otosu mi no e ye tenene. Number 3 is peace. Di otosu mi ansa e asomdwe. Number 4 is the word. Di otosu na no e nyame asam. Number 5 is faith. Ya di otosu num e ye gidie. Number 6 is salvation. Na di otosu nsia no e ye nkwagie. And then 7 is prayer. Because indeed, prayer is the key. It is the master key. In Ephesians 6 verse 18, it tells us to pray on all occasions, to pray hard and strong. Because the devil loves to get you so mad that you won't open up your weapon. Whether it comes in five years, two years, a week, or even tomorrow, Habakkuk 2 verse 2 says that it, it, though it may waver, but it will soon come to pass. Yeah. At the end of the day, if you know better, you do better, right? Yes. But if you don't know better, then you don't do better. Because if you have allowed your grandmother, your mother, you, now your daughter, going through that same cycle of boundaries, but you don't self don't know it, then that's a problem. Sexual morality, lust, and divorce, that same pattern. I will reject here. That is why it's so important for you and I to know our salvation, to acquire the knowledge of the word of God. Because the devil will make you think that you don't know what you're talking about. He will make you think that he will give he will give himself a higher platform and you will be diminished. But if you don't know the word of God, you won't be able to defeat his tactics. <laughs> A generational curse of my father leaving my mother, a generational curse of anger and resentment to just be broken just today. Now, who to make and say, Oh, I worry, Jaya, if you mean a nun and a nun and a swab, this is Abrino, and then Kuan, and a Gufua, a free and an 
so no so abesi so no e ye da ki to abi ya e se ni ye to be fi ho ko da bi faith and patience just waiting on the lord of god a word of uh, the lord um patrina she said this morning desperation being desperate going at the feet of jesus say jesus i want this to be broken i don't want my children to have to experience the hell that i went through oh god and unti na jidie ni abotre wo ho e ya di hie ne se se ye 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 sinkete du me bia ye ka se e urade de me me kwa mu me mpesa me ma so e baba beto aso bi That's why the decision Peter made was was impactful because he like he was the church. And until a Pedro, sabo taina wadi si na ni sunu na Pedro ono kasa na oye asafono. He wasn't necessarily the church, but his foundation. He he was the rock. Na na oye abo taina chese oye fapim. And now we are little pillars standing on the rock that Peter made and deciding that you know what I need to give this to God. I cannot allow myself to be angry when when Jesus was going up on the cross or slashing a soldier's ear. I cannot allow myself to do that because I know that in the future all of us will be a part of a testimony of what he did. Eh yin tinu min pesa me me pesa yin pesa be se Peter ne mumu no yin ma kwa ma sa ne ma we ensi yin kwa agufuo ne ne ma ensi yin kwa a esa se yin nyina da chi bi ne yin nyina be bomu ayi di pa ba ko So I want to leave you with um a last scripture Ephesians 2 verse 19 to 22 Every so for one na etimienu chiche modu enu mienu E ka fi so mo ma no etimienu chiche modu kono kosi edu enu mienu Enti afei Munya ahowo ne amamfrafo bio na emu omuye ahotofo no yonko maima ni onyankopon fiefo ode mu asi asomafo ni adifo fa pem a kristo yesu no ara ne twa suti bo ti tru no so ni mu na de awasie no nyina akeka atoa mu na rema ne ho so akoye asore dan kron kron erade mu Nim ni mu na wode mo nsu risie akoye nyakopon tena bia hunhun amen amen um, in the english in niv ephesians 2 verse 19 to 22 it reads consequently you are no longer foreigners and strangers but fellow citizens with god's people and also members of his household built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets with christ jesus as the chief cornerstone In him the whole building is joined together and rises to become a holy temple in the Lord. And in him you too, you and I are being built together to become a dwelling in which God lives by his spirit. Amen. 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 Be blessed. Amen. 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 And the only way that you can overcome fear is know who you are. 
It's to know that you are a child of the Most High God. It is to know that you have some, some spiritual strength. The strength that comes from the heavens above. The only way that you can overcome fear is to know that you are the child of God, the Most High God. So even at this moment, we are going to pray to God that every fear that the devil has placed in us, that every hindrance that the devil has placed in us, by being a child of the Most High God, we are partakers of this inheritance. We are partakers of this inheritance that we can overcome fear in every way, every form, or every shape. Oh, give praise and thank God for this moment. Pray that you may overcome fear. You have blessed us through her, and we ask for your many blessings in her life. We thank you, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. What shall we all? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't, you know, I wasn't the MC for that one, but you know, for anyone coming now, you know, I gave you the number. Amen. 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 <laughs> See, I told you, my, 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 tree, my tree will get there eventually. <laughs> amen, amen. So, um, but yes, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so next up, now.
we have our special offering down before. Hey, I frock and see with ya. Oh, welcome. Yeah, this is our friendly sign, Mrs. Ochi. Now we do almost see the other.
present for you guys in the party room. Um, yeah, there's a celebrate the graduates. Um. Uh, 